friend stars console each other after saying their final goodbyes to Matthew Perry at private funeral service for the actor in Los Angeles Cemetery. Matthew Perry's friend's co-stars were seen on Friday consoling each other outside the church where the 54-year-old was laid to rest. Jennifer Aniston, 54, Lisa Kudrow, 60, Courtney Cox, 59, and David Schwimmer, 57, arrived as a quartet all dressed in black suits and somber as they prepared to say their last goodbyes to Perry at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Los Angeles. They were joined outside the church after the simple hour-long ceremony by Matt LeBlanc, 56, and were pictured in conversation with other well-wishers. Matthew Perry's funeral attended by Friends co-stars after actor's unexpected death. Matthew Perry's loved ones gathered for the actor's funeral on Friday. The service was held at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles near Warner Brothers Studios, a source tells People, adding that Perry's friends co-stars Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and David Schwimmer were in attendance. The source also indicates funeral started at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and ended at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Perry died on October 28th at age 54 at his home in Los Angeles after an apparent drowning, TMZ first reported. Law enforcement sources told the outlet there were no drugs found at the scene and no signs of foul play were present. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's Office confirmed to people that an autopsy has been completed and results are pending a toxicology report. However, an online record has the status of the actor's cause of death currently listed as deferred since its pending additional investigation. The actor's family released a statement to people the day after his death, saying, We are heartbroken by the tragic loss of our beloved son and brother. Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and a friend. You all meant so much to him and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. Perry's fellow friends' castmates also spoke out in a joint statement, exclusively obtained by People. We are all so utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. We were more than just castmates. We are a family, their statement read. There is so much to say, but right now we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. In time we will say more, as and when we are able, the statement continued. For now, our thoughts and our love are with Maddie's family, his friends, and everyone who loved him around the world. The message was signed by Aniston, Cox, Kudrow, LeBlanc, and Schwimmer. Before his untimely death, the beloved friend star, who battled alcohol and drug addiction for decades, was planning to establish a foundation to support those suffering from substance abuse. His loved ones brought that foundation to fruition when a website for the Matthew Perry Foundation went live on Friday. The Matthew Perry Foundation is the realization of Matthew's enduring commitment to helping others struggling with the disease of addiction, the organization's mission statement reads. It will honor his legacy and be guided by his own words and experiences and driven by his passion for making a difference in as many lives as possible. The Foundation's website also features a black and white photo of Perry alongside an inspiring quote about his desire to help others. When I die, I don't want friends to be the first thing that's mentioned. I want helping others to be the first thing that's mentioned. And I'm going to live the rest of my life proving that. The quote from his November 2022 appearance on the Q with Tom Power podcast read, Addiction is far too powerful for anyone to defeat alone. But together, one day at a time, we can beat it down. Matthew Perry laid to rest in funeral, friends cast in attendance. Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and David Schwimmer attended Perry's funeral. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry. The late friends actor was laid to rest on Friday. E.T. has learned that the actor was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, not far from Warner Brothers Studios where he filmed Friends. The funeral was held Friday afternoon and was attended by his family and friends, including his former cast members Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and David Schwimmer. 
Perry was best known for his beloved portrayal of Chandler Bing on NBC's Friends. Perry was found dead in a hot tub at his home in Los Angeles, California, on October 28th. He was 54, and is survived by his parents, John Bennett Perry and Suzanne Morrison. On October 30th, Perry's five main friends co-stars Cox, Aniston, Kudrow, LeBlanc, and Schwimmer released a joint statement about Perry's death. We are all so utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. We were more than just castmates. We are a family, their statement read. There is so much to say, but right now we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. In time we will say more, as and when we are able, the statement continued. For now, our thoughts and our love are with Maddie's family, his friends, and everyone who loved him around the world. Perry was candid about his struggles with addiction in his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, and opened up in an interview at the time about how he didn't want to just be remembered for his acting, or for playing Chandler Bing during the hit NBC sitcom's 10-season run. The best thing about me, bar none, is if somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking. Can you help me? I can say yes and follow up and do it. Perry shared in a November 2022 interview on The Q with Tom Power Podcast. And I've said this for a long time. When I die, I don't want friends to be the first thing that's mentioned. I want that to be the first thing that's mentioned. And I'm going to live the rest of my life proving that. Despite Perry's death, that goal came to fruition on November 3rd with the announcement of the formation of the Matthew Perry Foundation, a charity devoted to helping those struggling with substance abuse. In a statement shared with E.T., officials said that the organization will follow in Perry's footsteps and continue his life's mission of helping others dealing with addiction, which he said was paramount to him before his death. The Matthew Perry Foundation is the realization of Matthew's enduring commitment to helping others struggling with the disease of addiction, the statement read. It will honor his legacy and be guided by his own words and experiences and driven by his passion for making a difference in as many lives as possible. Matthew Perry's family and friends co-stars gather for private memorial days after actor's death. Matthew Perry has been farewelled by loved ones, including his friends co-stars, at a private L.A. cemetery. Matthew Perry has been farewelled by friends and family at a ceremony at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles. His father, John Bennett Perry, and stepfather, Keith Morrison, were photographed arriving at the Forest Lawn Church of the Hills on Friday, local time, alongside the actor's friends co-stars, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, David Schwimmer, and Matt LeBlanc.